This is Tuesday, May 23rd, and we're going to look at three ETFs, the SPY, uh, GLD, and USO uh, for an update on their swing trade status. And the SPY executed a new bullish uh, signal yesterday when we had a bullish reversal from uh, near the oversold zone and the signal price was 239.71 and that executed today when today's bar made a higher high and a higher close than the signal bar and this is an even better signal because it also made a higher close uh, than the signal price of 239.71 so SPY is in a new uh, bullish swing trade the next one we're going to look at is GLD, the gold ETF. And we can see that GLD made a bullish reversal from the oversold zone. And this was back on May 12th. And had a signal price of 116.84, uh, which executed the next day when the bar on the 15th, uh, which was Monday, made a higher high than the signal bar and closed higher than the signal bar and this one looks like it closed right on the price and gold or uh, gold has continued higher uh, we recently had a couple days ago a bearish reversal from the overbought zone but as you can see the histogram bars never turn red so we don't have a bearish reversal signal uh, as of yet but in order to establish some stop losses I'll just put this in context we'll look at the lowest low that occurred since the bearish reversal and that's at 118.56 so if you were still long GLD uh, from the uh, initial trade your maximum stop loss now would be say 118.56 uh, because if it got below that, would probably start getting some red histogram bars. And you just want to stay ahead of the game a little bit. And the last one we're going to look at is USO. And that's the oil ETF. And like GLD, uh, the USO uh, made a bullish reversal from the oversold zone and we had the first green histogram bar and we had we got a signal price then at 9.95 uh, which executed the next day and since then uh, USO has continued higher and in this situation because the stochastic RSI is still in the overbought zone uh, which is a good thing until we get a bullish reversal out of the zone you want to set a tight stop and one way to do that is to look for the one day low or the two day low. In this case it's the one day low which is 1050. And the way you set these lines is you just right click off the chart and in this case it's a red line at 1050 and you just save it and then that red line will appear uh, every time you enter this chart. You know again today, tomorrow, next week, whatever. And the other thing you can do is you can set an audible price alert and to do that you just type in the symbol USO uh, our alert price which is 1050 and across below and then turn it on and then every minute or so during the trading day uh, the alert gets checked and if you uh, get an alert you'll hear a, a human voice will tell you uh, red alert USO so that you can go check and, and see what's going on without having to watch uh, you know a one minute or a five minute chart to uh, find out what's going on so that's the status for these three ETFs and uh, they're all bullish maybe with the exception of gold which could uh, reverse tomorrow but as of yet has not